you all know me, I'm Al Hoyt. Um, I am a veteran from a very long line of veterans, uh, going all the way back to Lieutenant John Hoyt, who served in the American Revolution. My great-great-grandfather served in Company D of the 1st Maine Heavy Artillery during the Civil War and was wounded at the Battle of Petersburg. My father, my grandfather, was a merchantman during World War I. My father was a Navy corpsman in the Korean War. I was a corpsman in Vietnam. My brother was a boiler tech on board the flagship of the 7th Fleet during Vietnam, and my kid brother was in Korea. And my son served in between the two Gulf Wars in the Marine Corps in their anti-terrorism unit. So being a veteran means a lot to me. I went to boot camp at a and A school at Great Lakes, Illinois. I was assigned to Newport, Rhode Island, uh, where I worked in a hospital treating veterans that had come home, wounded men who had come home from Vietnam. Um, I participated in Operation Frequent Wind, the evacuation of Saigon in April of 1975. Um, during my service, I received the usual pile of tin. Um, mostly what those medals mean is you went where they sent you and you did what they told you. The ones that I'm proudest of are this one, the National Defense Service Ribbon, which <clears throat> you only get if you enlist during wartime, which my son, my father, my brothers both all have, and this one, the Humanitarian Award for my participation in Operation Frequent Wind. Um, having served as a veteran during a time when you weren't treated very well when you came home means I appreciate how we're treating veterans now. And I think it's important. Don't say thank you for your service. Say welcome home.